Hey everyone, what I would like to do in this video is show you Intel's Extreme Memory Profile feature, otherwise known as Intel XMP. And as you can see from the website here, this allows you to overclock your RAM, increase the frequency. Now this is important to know, I'm sure some of you are aware of this, I'm sure many of you are using it as well, but some of you are not, which means that you will not be getting the advertised speed for your RAM. Now, my Corsair RAM here, it's 3200 megahertz, and it's in this PC right now. And it's got a, a part down the bottom that says low pro profile memory for high performance overclocking. But right now it's not being overclocked, which means that I'm only getting 2133. So I'm not getting the frequencies that I should be getting because I've disabled XMP. Um, and you can see it down here, Intel Extreme Memory Profile lets you overclock RAM and compatible DDR3, DDR4. This is compatible um, to enhance the gaming features built into PCs. Um, you can load predefined and tested Intel XMP profiles through your computer's operating system using the BIOS or a specific tuning application. Now, the specific uh, application it's referring to is the one that's provided by your uh, motherboard provider. So if you've got a laptop, this is an HP laptop, it would be from HP. I've got a gigabyte motherboard in my PC, so it's gigabyte Aorus. And if I go to the advanced DDROC tab, you can see options here for XMP setup profile. Now down at the bottom here, um, for some reason it's saying zero, there it is. It's saying 2133 megahertz. Now that is, as you can see, less than what is advertised. But in order to get that, what I need to do is enable XMP and then I can increase it to the speed that I want. Now I could go higher. I can go higher if I want, but I just wanted to put it to the advertised speeds. Now, I don't know if it's this application, this tuning application, but it doesn't seem to save it when I change it here. So I need to go into the BIOS and change it. But if you don't have an application like this, if it's not provided by your laptop company or by your motherboard company, what you can do is download an application called CPU-Z. It's free to download. I'm sure you guys are all aware of it. And this tells you a lot of amazing information about your computer about your CPU, your motherboard and all that. And you know, you can see here, it's a Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Gaming 7, Intel Core i7-8700K. But what I want to see is the memory tab. And you can see here, 32 gigabytes DDR4, but down here, the DRAM frequency, I've got it 1066.7, i.e., if I can bring it back up, half of that. Now it's important to know that because CPU Z will show you the, the speed of one particular module, whereas most other ones will show you it doubled up. So if, for example, XMP was enabled, that would say 1600, i.e. half of 3200 to RAM slots. So that is important to note. But what I'd like to do at this point is restart my computer and show you how I can enable XMP in the BIOS area. So here I am in my computer's BIOS area. To get to this point, you have to push something like F2 or F4 or F10 or even Escape. All motherboards have a different way of entering the BIOS, but you will see a message when your computer is loading up that explains how you get there. Now, your setup will probably look a little bit different from mine, but in mine, I go to MI2 and then Advanced Memory Settings. But just look for memory settings or something to that effect. If I double click, you can see at the very top of the page here, Extreme Memory Profile is disabled. So if I double click it again, I'm going to click uh, Profile 1. And you can see up here 2133, which is what we were seeing earlier. Click on Profile 1 and it goes up to 32. And you can see here the memory frequency there, 3200 megahertz instead of 2133. So what I'm going to do now is just save and then load up my computer again. So I have rebooted my computer and I'm now getting the advertised speeds. I'm now getting 3200 megahertz. And you can see it down here. Um, I don't know why this application keeps flashing to zero, but 3192, it's showing there. XMP is enabled here. Memory frequency is 32. I could go higher. I do have... Uh, the opportunity to increase memory even further, but I'm happy with 3200. I believe that CPU Z is probably a little bit more reliable, and you can see it here DRAM frequency 1599.3, 1600.1. That is for an individual module, times it by two, and you get 3200.
you can increase it if you want. Um, I don't want to delve into that too much in this video, but I hope you have a better understanding now of what Intel Extreme Memory Profile is all about, what Intel XMP can do and how it can help you. As I said, if you've got a laptop or notebook, chances are that XMP isn't available to you. So your frequency will be reduced down to whatever the bottleneck is, you know, for, you know, it could be 2133 for an older CPU, it could be 2400. Uh, megahertz if it's a newer CPU, but you will be limited to to what the CPU and what the motherboard can do. So bear that in mind. But if you have a desktop PC, you probably do have XMP available in your BIOS. At the very least, guys, you should check your BIOS and see if this is a feature that is available. And if it is available, check it out, try it out, enable it, mess about with the frequencies and see if you can improve the performance of your PC. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've got a better understanding of what XMP is all about. If you've got any questions, please do post a comment below. And until next time, take care.